Our application at the moment only has this one activity called main activity with its own activity lifecycle. We've got here the menu item we added in the last tutorial about and we want to open a new activity when we click it. Well, if you're going to open up a new activity, you first have to create it. And this is what it's going to be called. We're going to call it about activity and it's going to have its own activity lifecycle. If you open up Android Studio and expand your Java class, this is where this is the first of three things you need to do when you're creating a new activity. First thing to do is to create the class and we'll just name it about activity. You'll remember that when you create an activity you have to extend the base class and we're going to extend the base class activity. And you can see Android Studio is very helpful with its autocomplete. So now we've extended the class activity, we're inheriting its methods. If you remember, the next thing we need to do is override a few methods. And we'll start with the onCreate method. So you go to Code, Override Methods, and onCreate. You can see here that Android Activity Android Studio continually helps you write your code by automatically importing the proper classes. Let's hit save. The next thing you need to do is let Android Studio know about your new activity and this is done in the Android manifest. You can see here we've already got our original activity and we're just going to create a new one, a new entry. Android Studio automatically detects available classes and since we've already got an entry for main activity so we'll just select our about activity. Just to point out that this dot at the beginning of the name is just a shorthand for the entire class package. This, this up here. We'll just close that off and that's all you need to do. Let's hit save. The final thing you need to do in this case is define a layout XML file for this activity. Under the layout directory you can see one already exists for our main activity and creating a new one in Android Studio is very simple. You just right click, hit new layout resource file and we're going to call it activity about. Uh, for the moment, you don't have to worry about all these uh, linear layouts and uh, other items. We'll get, get to these soon. Here's our layout. Here's the uh, graphical interface and here's the XML. Let's just hit save. And that's all we need to do to create a new activity. So how do we signal our intent to open this new activity. Well, in Android, there are a set of methods called listeners, and they listen out for many different types of user actions. And one of the listeners handles listening for a menu item event. If we look at our main activity, which is where our menu item was defined, there's an on options item selected method and it's being overridden. It's a method that already exists in the parent class. Here you can see there is an entry that handles the settings option in this menu. Now to create a handler for the about item we've created, we're going to use this as a template. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it. But we then need to uniquely identify that item being clicked. If you remember, we created a menu a, me, a menu main XML file. Inside, we created our about item, and we labeled it about. Now, there's an attribute in here called ID. This is the unique identifier. 
and we've chosen this name to identify that menu entry. So keep this in mind, action about, and go back to your main activity class. So here we're going to say is if id r dot id dot action the autocomplete again is very useful do something now at this point if we click the button about nothing's going to happen as i mentioned before we need to signal our intent to open a new activity and in android there are such things called intents so we have let's create one in tent we'll just label it intent and we, we have to create a new one new intent and here we have to define where this intent is going it's going to our about activity autocomplete helps again this is how you set up your intent and the next thing you need to do is start this intent it isn't android studio very helpful look at that so all we need to do is just feed in this intent and, and that's it. Let's run the application and test out our button. So we'll highlight app, hit run. Choose a running device. Yes, choose an existing running device. Looks like it's all refreshing. Our app is, is up here, so we can go to our menu and hit about. Excellent. We are now in our new activity it's completely blank because we've not added anything to it but we can you can hit the back button here and exit it and return back to the main activity and for fun we can go back here and go back to our about activity and exit it again excellent so what we've covered here is something called an explicit intent and this is the code you need to remember this this is how you launch an explicit intent and this means that you name the class you want to launch and the code just launches it. 